All right, let's show you something awesome. This is one of my inventions I came up with uh, quite a long time ago. I've got three or four of these. However, I'm missing two of them. Uh, that's what happens when you move. Um, professional photography. Composition, light modification. Uh, the third aspect of light modification is control of the light. Now, here's my little fiber optic tool. Now you're going to think, well, who gives a damn? You've actually extended out fiber optic uh, light for macro photography. That's only part of the case. Here we have an SC29 flash cable, which everybody should have. Okay, it is rather expensive. Um, they've kind of disappeared since I mentioned them on eBay as far as used, but I have full TTL control of my light when doing macro photography but I have extremely precise control. Right now I'm using an SB910, you can use an SB800, but it has to be TTL control. Now with the SC29, I have full TTL control of the speed light. When I'm out uh, doing macro photography of uh, nature, insects and whatnot, I have uh, one of my SB910s that's on a Velcro loop with a, a brass uh, carabiner. I'll actually hook it to my belt. You can see the length I have here on my fiber optic. Okay, right now I'm using Tekin 100, uh, 100 millimeter. It doesn't really matter which macro lens I use, a 60 millimeter, Tekina, or my Sigma. I also have a Velcro attachment up here. Let me show you something here. But this is only part of the story. Then I'm going to tell you the full story here in a second. So I'll just pretend this is an insect, but really I'm shooting the top of the dial of this uh, Fuji. So I have full TTL control of my light, proper exposure. I can actually set exposure comp here or on the speed light, increase, decrease, so on and so forth. Make sure I've got the right angle. Of course it turns out perfect as well as it does every time. You also want to make sure you don't get it too close to the front of the lens hood. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now let's talk about control. So I have perfect TTL control of my light. Macro photography, illumination, is everything. Underneath, when you shoot a leaf up underneath, how are you going to do that? I've showed you my macro rig in a prior video. I can actually angle off of a ball head my macro light for like shooting up underneath. Say I want to shoot or illuminate an insect from underneath uh, a leaf. Okay, well I have the ability to do that without packing a huge rig. This is attached to my belt, or actually goes in my pocket. I'll show you a second video how to make this. The total cost on this is about four dollars. Okay, this is just a piece of uh, laminated uh, cardstock, and I have a special insert here. It's just made out of styrofoam, and then I have uh, ten, maybe eight strands, or twelve strands, or fifteen strands of fiber optic. This is about to almost four feet long. So I can put the speed light in my pocket and do my macro photography. But let's show you the control part. Say I want to illuminate. Everything is obviously about illumination. Portrait photography as well as macro photography. But I want to illuminate something to uh, my compositional desires. So instead of shooting up here, as I just showed you with my fiber optics, I want to do this number. And I still have full TTL control, but I have the illumination set where I want it. So now I have totally different illumination. I've totally changed the composition. It's exactly what I want, but maybe that isn't what I want. Why do I want to do this number? And illuminate from underneath and behind. Totally change the light and I totally change the mood and the composition of the macro shot that I'm doing. Totally different. Totally different. Same uh, crop of uh, the subject that I'm shooting. Um, same distance, same exposure, but completely different image just by changing the angle of my light. And this is full TTL control from four feet away off of fiber optic using SC29 flash cable. This actually steps up your game in macro photography substantially. Um, why actually no one has something like this that they're commercially selling is beyond me. Um, I don't know, I've never seen that it actually exists. You can actually buy this fiber optics off of eBay. This is the really thick stuff. On the next video I'm going to show you how to do this and it's very very simple. You can actually build this in about a half an hour. 
Everything here is uh, just a, a, a roll of fiber optics, some Velcro, and some cardstock. But you have to have an SC29 flash cable. Without that, you have no TTL control of your light, which for macro photography out in the field is a big difference. This is not ungainly. With this speed light in my pocket or hanging off my belt loop, I'm just, I have uh, my uh, whatever DSLR I've got, uh, my macro lens, just hanging here. I can attach it here like this and then angle it, uh, angle it as I need. But if I want to change the illumination, To suit my needs, seeing that that's totally different. This is what's important. I know you can't see that, it's too far away. Light control, okay? Professional photography, expert in uh, composition and light manipulation. Part of the attribute of light manipulation is its precise control. I mean, I, I can obviously blast or you can blast whatever you want with light. And you say, well, I've got control of the light. Yeah, you, you're, you're putting out the light and you're getting the correct exposure, but are you getting the compositional quality as pertains the light with the light that you're throwing out there? As I said, I can shoot the exact same thing with the exact same exposure exactly the same way, but by changing the light angle, um, its proximity, its intensity, and its attack angle, totally changes the angles of illumination, the shadows created, and the total compositional quality of whatever it is I'm shooting. It can go from a crap shot to a perfect shot with the same shot, the same exposure, the same angle on the camera and the lens, um, from crap to awesome, strictly by changing the angle of illumination. So let me go on to the second video and show you how to make this awesome device. And it is awesome. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. And uh, there's one thing I'll assure you of in the, the upcoming videos we'll be talking about the uh, speed light use and strobes and what's going to separate out you from everybody else and step up your game of photography is learning light modification and not being afraid of strobist photography. Strobist meaning stro studio strobes or speed lights. It's not that difficult. I mean, you're not shooting film here. You're shooting digital. If you, if you, if you, if you screw up, you know, you change stuff. You'll learn just like that. Everybody is afraid of this and nobody starts thinking out of the box as far as light modification. But you need to start to. So check the next video on how to make this. This is an awesome device. And if you don't already have the SC29 flash cable, which you already should have, you should chill out the bucks and get it. Okay? Now I could leave this uh, speed light on the top of my camera. But I don't because it is ungainly and actually puts a lot of stress on the, uh, the hot shoe of the camera. And it also prevents me from get, being more mobile and agile when it comes to macro photography. So getting the speed light off of my camera, that's one thing. Now, it doesn't matter here on the fiber optics if it's sitting up here, if it's sitting on my belt or in my pocket. Since I'm uh, manipulating uh, my, flash, uh, my uh, flashlight, uh, my flash illumination um, from the fiber optics. But in this case, it's beneficial because getting that heavy ass speed light off of my camera makes me more agile and it makes the shooting a lot better. But it'll work either way, so you don't actually have to have this, but it really is a necessity. I mean, it's so useful for so many other things. But let me show you how to make this in the next video. And then, uh, like I said, it's only going to be $4 to make it, and it is an incredibly awesome tool if you love macro photography. Okay? Like this video, drop me a buck or two, go tell me, jump off a cliff, whatever makes you most happy.